for another great night. And by thanks for another great night, I assume you're not asking me out. See? It's that intuition that makes you a great newsman. <laughs> All right, but I'm telling you, a couple more nights like this, and I'm taking Susie Nesman to the prom. Mm. I hear she'll go to second base for a slushy. <laughs> Look, I promise I'm worth the wait. Have you ever heard of the horizontal running man? Mm. Mm. sister's spying on us. Only because she's in love with you. She couldn't care less about me. I've been replaced by Grace, the Stepford caterer, who probably never drinks on the job or tries to sleep with the clients. <laughs> the way Hope does. All right. Good night, Faye. Good night. I just came over because someone ripped Grace's name off the van last night. And I'm pretty sure it was you. And why would I do that? Because you feel replaced. And I think you're lonely. This just in, Larry Walker scores! Oh! <laughs> Hi. Ah. Hey, Larry. Hey. <laughs> It's, it's funny, because uh, Charlie has those same boxers. Well, not exactly the same. Um, the stitching's a little, little different around the, um... Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll be on my way. I am so glad that you called me and had me come back last night. Well, what can I say? It's been three weeks. I'm not a nun. Although you do have the outfit. <laughs> Why don't I cook dinner for us tonight at my house. Listen, Larry, last night was amazing, especially for you. But just because I rocked your world doesn't mean I want you to get all gaga over me, especially at work. I mean, let's keep it professional, at least until my benefits kick in. Great. Casual, discreet. Mm -hmm. I like the way you think. See you at work. No goodbye kiss? <laughs> and that's one very special Glen Falls citizen who is not 100 years old. He's 100 years young. And now it's time to check on the weather with our very own Faith Fairfield. Our very own? Getting a little possessive, aren't we, Larry? Actually, I just read that off the cue card. Did you? Yes, I did. Right there, see? Oh. Was well, there anything else on that cue card? Like you don't want me seeing other anchormen? No. <laughs> but does cream corn contain the cure for cancer? Our own Dr. Israel Hershowitz seems to think so. The doctor is in right after the weather. Faith? <laughs> Fine. There's a cold front moving in. Wear your coats because it's going to get awfully chilly. Back to you, bad in bed. <laughs> we'll be right back after these words. We're clear. What was that about? Me? You were the one who just questioned my bedroom skills on live TV in front of dozens of viewers. You were the one that was ignoring me. I was doing the news. And you're the one who said, OK, let's keep it casual so I don't go all gaga. Well, if you believe that, Larry, then you don't know the first thing about women. <laughs> Although, you do know the second thing, which is we love flowers. Unfortunately, two of the tenants were unable to evacuate the building fast enough and suffered severe burn... <laughs> burns over 70% of their... of their body. We'll be right back after this. And we're clear. I'd like to have you over 70% of my body. Can I see you behind the set for a second? You read my mind, now prepare to read my lips. Mm. Mm. I have a little 
present for you. What is this, the key to your heart? No, you've already got that. That's the, the key to my house. Oh, I already had one made last week when you were in the shower. Well, that is the official one. I know it's only been six weeks that we've been seeing each other, but I love you, Faith. And I want you to move in with me. Uh, you're still Mike, Larry. <laughs> well? I love you, too, my boogly woogly bear. You're still Mike, too, Faith. But let me be the first to congratulate you. Coming through. It's not like she's moving in with him. I was wrong. So very, very wrong. In fact, I think you're moving too fast with Larry. Look, Hope. I am 30 blah, 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 years old. I don't have time to take it slow. And Larry's a great guy. I love him. And he loves me. So you're completely over the gooch? Please. If he walked through that door right now, I wouldn't give him the time of day. Hey, who's moving? 515. <laughs> Gooch, what are you doing here? I love you, Faith. And I can't live without you. Nah, <laughs> just kid. <laughs> No, I sold my house, so I gotta pack up and get back to Japan in two days. Who's moving out here? All right, honey. A few more boxes, and it's off to our love shack. <laughs> I hope. Thanks for those dining room chairs. <sighs> Gooch, this is her boyfriend, who she's moving in with, as we speak. Gary, the Gooch Gucharis. Larry Walker, big fan. Man, you're tearing it up over there in Japan. Thanks. So, you're moving in together. Jeez, Faith, that's the sort of thing you might want to tell a former neighbor. Oh, yeah? Well, from what I heard, you got yourself a new neighbor. And from the pictures I saw, looks like a skanky hoe bag. She's not my neighbor. I just borrowed a cup of sugar for publicity reasons. Oh, I'm sure you use that sugar to make sweet, sweet, unprotected pancakes together. Well, uh, Gary, Gooch, good to meet you. Yeah, you too, Harry. Uh, Larry. Whatever. <laughs> so how long was the Gooch your boyfriend? Oh, no, 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 he was not my boyfriend. <laughs> it was strictly a sexual thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that would make it easier. Not so much, no. Look, it seems so ridiculous now. I mean, just seeing him again, he is so clearly not the one. And you so are. You sure? I am so sure. I will then take the first load over to my place. Mm -hmm. uh, our place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I am so not sure. Hope, upstairs, now! Please! I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm really confused. Maybe this will help you. Hey, what the hell is going on? Wait a minute. You're not Larry. 